All right, a brand new day. Let's get up. Let's pet the cat. Water the let's water the cat. Good lord. Let's see what do we need to accomplish today. I think we're just in the money making. We have anything coming up on the calendar? Nothing so often. Let's go down to the cellar. We're preparing for a large. Ooh, what do we have ready to go? Nothing. We haven't made anything. I'm a slacker. I deserve this from you all. We're making something right now. Some more fuel in that. Ooh, we got some porter. What are we making here? Anything? Well, we just need to make more of our one stuff. Oh, not enough fuel. I got you. I got you. I got you, fam. There we go. Do I want? Oh, I always struggle if I want to go ahead and knock it out or wait and see if we want to. All right, we got 40 of that. We got 26 of that. 29. We don't have a lot of tea. Let's start some of that. Bread. We don't have a lot of bread either. Ooh, we don't get a lot of dough. Let's see. Oh, we don't we don't have um hardly anything. Not enough ingredients, what? Okay, well we can work on that. We'll start making some wheat bread. Alright. Get that stuff going. So yeah, some people were asking, you know, down here looks great, but what's upstairs? Nothing. I guess this is where you expand to put your tavern or your inn where people could stay, but that takes a ton of money. We don't have that right now. Looks like we need some more candles too. Ooh, we got some grapes. We got a press. What is that? That is a construction table. Ooh, nifty. Let's go ahead and order. Can I even afford candles? I mean, we have to get them. I know we have a few in our bag, but as you all know, that's not enough. Yeah, we need three more at least for the tables. Four for this one. Oh my lord, I didn't understand that it was so. We got 23T. Uh, I need to go find some more turkey today if we can find it. Get some bread on. Let's get this. All right. Um, what else is low? We have no fish broth. I'll put some of that on. I probably bought that fish for like um, something else, but I'll use it for this. We got five. I'm I'm totally not paying attention, am I? Oh, and the one thing that I've been excited about is the stupid press. Um, let's put that like right here. What can we put in this? Oh, we can make oil. We have olives. Okay, that's cool. And I'm gonna guess these grapes. Vegetable meat. Ugh. We can make grape juice. I don't want to do that. We'll go find something else. The grapes are gonna be for wanted wine we got we got bread in our inventory I totally didn't pay attention to that we'll wait till this gets done before we put the porter on tap or put it on that um but yeah let's go outside let's try to find some uh bushes okay, we got two different types of bread that doesn't sell for a lot but it's okay Full on tea. But we do need to acquire some uh, goodness. Let's go ahead and check the garden. Make sure everything's looking proper and stable. Apologies for last episode. Um, I had to combine a number of episodes. And uh, yeah, it just was not the way that I planned it. Oh, we got our lettuce uh, for our harvest. Nice. 
But yeah, the microphone is just, it went bonkers, and I'm not sure why. Though, upon further investigation, I'm believing it may be the atrocities of others that ca caused it. But that's neither here nor there. An anvil? Oh, we already got one. I don't know why I got all excited seeing it. I thought it was something else. We only got three lettuce out of that. Three lettuce does not go a long way. I don't know if you all know this or not. All right, where does this thing go? This construction table. Mm, we can go here too. Can go right there. Welcome to the construction mode. Here you can expand your tavern, customize walls and floors, create rooms and distribute areas, and much more. Uh, left shift lets you do the movement will be faster. Sure, sure, sure. Oh, okay, so. Panel in the upper left corner will allow you to toggle between the floor view and wall view. Building and decorating. Oh, yeah, they're doing this with 42 gold in the example. We're nowhere close to that. And on top right, we'll just play the floor. Okay, so. So that's how you go upstairs. At this, this is your first time. The changes you make will be free of charge. In the future, the construction table, which you have access, the construction mode will be used to store the materials you're going to use. At the bottom of the screen, you will find the toolbar. In it, you can navigate through the different menus. At the moment, some of these options are locked, but as soon as you finish the tutorial, you'll be able to access all the options. Get to work. We'll start by adding a crafting room on this floor. Use the Create Floor Brush in the Build menu. What? Okay. Not possible to build in this position. When we build new rooms, no zone is assigned to them. Some objects and functions are exclusive to certain zones, so we'll have to define what the zone in this new room will be. In the zones menu in the toolbar, you can assign tavern zone, crafting zone, blah, 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 blah. How do I do this? Oh, crafting zone. Well done, you will now be able to place crafters in this new room. Depending on your reputation level, you will have more or less zone to the tiles to the sign. As you progress, you'll be able to expand your tavern more and more. In addition to the available tiles of each zone, there's a limited number of areas you can create. This limit will appear on your toolbar and will expand as you improve your innkeeper. Over time, you'll be able to have more crafting rooms and even more dining rooms. Let's customize our new crafting room. Do I get to keep all this? Select the regular stone wall. Unlike walls, floors can be applied tile by tile. Select a stone block floor. Okay. Building and decorating cost materials. Although these changes are not final until you exit the construction mode. Deleting tiles or substituting decorations are basic shape. Well, return to materials if the changes have not yet been confirmed. Your crafting room is almost finished. To add some privacy, we will be the door. Select the door from the excesses menu. Crafting room is now ready. Now it's time to create a new type of room, the guest rooms. Customers will be able to spend the night and you pay for pay you for it. Food and drink aren't the only money makers in your tavern. You know, I played through this game some off screen and I've never seen this menu before like this tutorial like I don't know. It's weird. It's new to me. Add floor brush and build the space highlighted. What? Oh. I don't think there's any way they let us keep this. Space is really located, don't have any... Yeah, 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 we know this. We know this. This 
this room meets some requirements. Just go to the accesses menu in the toolbar and place a guest room door. Oh, it's got a little spade on it. By placing guest room door, the door has automatically become a guest room. The zone cannot be replaced unless the guest door is removed. In order for a client to spend the night, the guest room must have a bed, table, chair, and light source. We'll give you everything you need this time. Press B to activate the decoration mode and place the objects in the guest room. Why are they in this one? Oh, press B. Guest room is ready. As long as the minimum requirements met, it can be assigned to customers who request a guest room at the tavern bar. Congratulations, you now have everything you need to get the most out of your tavern. To confirm the changes next to the tutorial, press the confirm button. When you do so, all the changes will be applied and the materials you've used will be deducted. I didn't have the money for this. But I'm not going to turn it down. That's it. Upgrade your reputation as the innkeeper to gain access to new components. Remember to put materials in your new construction table before you start building. Rooms to rent out. Build your first room. Oh my god. Yeah, this is this is totally new to me. Okay, so I guess we're going to rent rooms out now. I don't know what we're doing. I'm a little nervous now. This is the end game now, Stephen Thomas. Hope you all have learned a little bit from all of this. All right, let's let's go look for turkey. We need food to serve tonight. Yeah, we got like forty something gold worth of stuff for free just then. I'm not going to. Uh, not celebrate that. That was awesome. Probably need to buy some more lettuce heads and plant them in the garden. Some uh, wild herbs. Oh, herb. I didn't see our turkey friend here. It's unfortunate. I'd like to open the bar mid-afternoon, but I want to get as much fuel as I can. Get as much fuel as we can, and perhaps we got to be able to feed and give people the drink that come in our building. I was really hoping to find some wild, not wild berries, but some kind of fruit or something so we can make some juice. I mean, I got that press. I was all excited about that, and we've not had the ability to really sit down and do anything with it yet. people walking by this to be a tavern out in the middle of nowhere there's there's quite a number of people that are walking near it of course that's all all those people walking by are lost business because I'm not open currently that's okay though must take baby steps We must be able to make things. I need at some point to get some milk. Or maybe it's an egg to make some cream so we can do the mushroom recipes. Because we got a lot of mushrooms out of the caves. I also want to find some uh, berries. The last two times we checked over at our neighbor's, his stuff has not grown back yet. We'll check again because I'm greedy and cheap. He's out in his garden. Not sure what he's doing. There's nothing here. Violet sitting here. I can't wait for Uncle Woody to come visit us. He promised me the next time he'll teach me his deadly technique. 
Arthur is such a chicken. He spends his whole day out there by himself, whining and complaining about everything. Some nights he even goes to sleep in my parents' bed. Shame on him. He's already five years old. I try to teach my brother to be a man and fend for himself, but mom and dad keep telling me off about it. Wow. There's no berries here. Sad days. We've only got 25 silver, so we can't really do something. Somebody asked a question, what happens when you get 99 silver? Well, it's just like World of Warcraft or any other game. If you get 99 copper, it, it makes a silver. If you make 99 silver, it makes a gold. Uh, I would not know what happens. I'm sure that you just, the uh, gold, it just keeps accumulating and it never, it goes triple digits and four digits and all that stuff. Let's let us uh, get it. Oh, an apple sprout. That would be nice. Let's get some more lettuce seeds. Oh, we can only afford five. Unfortunate. That's fine, though. That's what I'll get. Here's our candles. So we're ready for the day, mostly. So what do I do with this reception desk? Like, we legitimately... Are going to be able to have people stay upstairs? I really don't know what to do with that. We have the brightest pub. Nobody's going home with ugly people here. Cat, you already drink your water? Meow. All right. That. Fish broth. Two flour. Flour. What am I? What am I? Am I? Am I? Am I? Is it fuel? Is that the issue? No? I don't know what's going on with that. What's the other porter I have? It has wild berries, lemon, and hops. Wild berry, lemon. I don't know what's going on with my bread. Oh, we can make salad now. Um, put some onion on there and a little bell pepper. <laughs> Putting lettuce on lettuce actually makes the salad more. 272 at that. A potato on the salad. That doesn't sound good at all, but it sells way better. So we're going to do it. Even though it's disgusting. What did I put on this one? Potato and something else. I totally already forgot. And now I'm sad. Let's make some wild berry juice. I'm interested to see what that turns out. Kitchen yeast. I'm missing the yeast. Oh, that's what's wrong. Okay, we're going to have to buy yeast. That's my issue. I know, I know, I know. But where in the world do I put this? This thing's big. I don't really have room for it. Um, unless I move tables down. Now, is this the proper way to put this? Probably not. I want to go the other way. Honestly, don't know if any of this matters or not. Okay, we got a path there. As long as I can get around, we'll be okay. Now, that could cause some issues there. Hmm. I may actually move my broom right there. Put that there. All right. Um, and we'll see what happens. I, I honestly don't know what to expect from that. Okay, salad. It had uh, 
Potatoes and carrots. Yum. <laughs> 272 though. That makes money. We got our fruit juice. All right, excellent. Let's put everything in here that needs to go in here. What does the fruit juice sell for? 125. So not really much more. A little disappointed in that, but you live, you learn. Let's add. So when the water runs out, I'll put the fruit juice in. Let's add that to the menu and that to the menu. Let's go ahead and open the place. We got 30 T. Well, so after yeah, after we sell these last five water, we'll do that. Put my broom. You know, I just learned something though. Can't move these lights. There's another little layer right here that I can move everything down and give us more room to walk around. Two drinks coming up. I'm early. Here's your salad. Drinks water down. You're drinking water, you dingus. Yeah, you better pipe down, dummy. Oh man, this porter's going fast. That's good though. Shish kebab, porridge. Porridge sounds really good. Or oatmeal, as we call it here. Make sure the tables are clean. Oh, we got a tea order. Just gonna rock everybody out. Now, how much was the water? 130. So water sells more than that other juice I made? That makes no sense. No. Stop it. Come here. Get out of here. That shocks me, actually. Let's test it and make sure. So we'll put that in there. We'll change the color. We'll make it yellow. Got one some beer over here. 99 is what we're getting from the customers. Let's turn the fire on. Let's clean some tables. Because I have properly put them in order so that we can... Well, that one was getting really dirty real quick. 103 from that girl. Get your beer here. Beer. And then it's got one some tea. You want fish. Uh oh, somebody wants first fruit juice. Okay. So is it really cheaper than water? No, 163 is what it went for. So it's a little bit more. Not much. That salad's going for 324. That's pretty good, though. There y'all go. Get y'all taken care of. Somebody wants some fish broth. You have an order for room service. Drinks ordered from the rooms will be notified at the reception desk. To serve them, just pull a drink from the tap and bring it to the room. If you have a hired housekeeper, they will take care of it at room service. That thing is backwards. So I'm obviously dumb. Alright, let's go down here and see what he wants. Customers requested a room. If you accept their offer, simply click the room and press accept. You can also haggle for a better price or simply decline their offer if it's too low. In this panel, you can see all the rooms and their features. The icons next to the room are used to identify them and will also appear on the room's doors. The characteristics of the room are the status, size, type, and comfort. Each customer will ask you for different requirements for the room and the prices will be halved if the room you assign does not meet their expectations. Rooms which are already occupied or dirty cannot be rented. For room to be assigned, it must be at least have the basic furnishings, light, table, chair, and bed. Be free and clean. Who wants to rent it for two days? 4380. I don't know what this this seems. You have rented your first room. Remember that guests usually leave the rooms for the day in the morning. When they do, you and your employees can come clean them. Keeping the room clean will award extra reputation. 360? Holy cow!
That was a lot of reputation. Hope he really likes his room. Oh, it is showing a drink, but I don't know what it is. I wonder if I gotta go like look at that. It may be one of these beers. Let me see. I'll run it upstairs. Let's see what it says. No, he wants the green tea. Well. Does that tell if I... Yeah, you can't really tell because it's not showing up down there. Alright, get his green tea. We need yellow. Another tea. I want, I want to see if I get paid like extra since this is like room service here. Nope, it's just the same. So now we got to run stuff upstairs to that person. All right, we're out of porter, unfortunately. Yeah, like the food, I could tell what it is, but it doesn't have the little bubble on it. I'm wondering why. All these tables are dirty. I gotta clean them. I'll get you salads here in a minute. All the drinks. So he wants something else. It sucks. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I can see it. Hold on. Nope, it went away. So you gotta walk down here. Yellow. Okay. Well, that's something I need to have probably up here closer to the fire. So that I can check it a little bit easier. At 12. Well, that's good that you get a uh, reputation for running them their stuff. He is going like crazy. I just hit that woman in the face. Can't control my broom skills. My mop skills. We're up to two gold already, though. Here, knock this out. Food, food. Oh, there's some bread. tea it's a controlled chaos but I could see adding that uh, upstairs part could be work now he wants something I can't tell what that is you know what I'm just gonna make some food no I don't even know how to take it to him you know what I wonder if it's I just go up there and click on the door and it gives them something let's see It does. Okay. I feel kind of stupid now. Getting awful late. Let's do last call for everybody. It looks like our little drinks was great fun. I'm also very happy that we survived today. Yeah, look at all those 99s, 103s. Very nice. I do need to turn this little tavern thing around here that's backwards. Move these down. Face made a mess. Me and my broom here. We'll take care of that. I didn't really get to showcase that, but you can see he just goes around and he cleans up everything for you. So let's let's see. I can yes, I can definitely move these down one. That helps. And then this thing. There we go. Then they walk up to it. 
Nice. All right. Oh, let's get off build mode. Okay, our porter's ready to go downstairs, but we don't have a chance to get it because it's time to go to sleep. Actually, screw it. I'm going to risk it. You got to risk it for the biscuit. Put 30 of that in there because that stuff sells well. We'll throw that in there. Head upstairs. We'll jump into bed and get ready for the next day. Hey, everybody. I'm Stephen Thomas. Subscribe if you have not. And if you enjoyed the video and you want to help the channel grow, all you got to do is hit that like button down below. Also, if you want to support the channel, there's a plethora of ways to do that down in the description. And as always, thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.